Alright, are we actually recording now? It seems like every time I start up the machine, that first time it really needs to think pretty hard about whether or not it's going to record. Okay, so let's do our update. Let's fly illegally. Let us look at the ship that is not connected to the ground. <laughs> Perhaps this platform also doubles as a partial anti-gravity thing so that it's much easier to hoist this thing up. I don't know. Okay, so I did some work on the front. I'm going to complain that this awesome, certainly combat-grade glass is not also available in this shape. They could do it. They could add them. It would help so much. I do like, though, that now this is sort of a solid piece. It's almost acrylic, like mega armor acrylic or something. But um, I, I played with the shape a couple of times, trying to figure out something I might like better, and I never really achieved it. So this is more or less emulating... What is happening? Oh, gosh. That's not supposed to be happening. Who are you shooting at? Yeah, you keep shooting at me. I can't see this way. Oh, man. This is not what I signed up for. Please. Yeah, as long as you're shooting at me, I don't care. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, man. I never heard a thing. I, I swear the alarm isn't going off anymore. Doesn't look like they did too much damage. Alright, anyways, back to what I was saying. Uh, it more or less is emulating the way the prospector looks in the front. And it, it's just a limitation. Oh! That's part of why uh, I wasn't being helped, is the power's off. Great. That happened reasonably, too. <coughs> Excuse me while I cough. Alright, so from there, I did a lot of work in the neck. There are now air shafts. This may be more of a Jeffrey's tube kind of situation. <clears throat> Excuse me. But uh, this one here. Yeah, definitely an air shaft. You got main vents at both ends, and it extends over what are a whole series of what are going to be rooms. Alright. I also put in these. I want some way that the people up front can electively get into the cargo passageways. So it's not, you know, heavily armored. It's not an easy to attack point. Uh, but, you know, it allows some access. You just have to be high ranking to access it. So, air vents, that stuff, and <clears throat> what are going to be a series of bunk rooms. And I finally figured out how to keep these from being automatic because walking up and down this hallway was cringeworthy uh, in terms of Right here, right here, all the way down. It was awful. Let me fly for a moment. So, I haven't put in the divider walls yet. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm starting to do this more to keep the weight of the ship down. It doesn't, you know, it seems like it doesn't matter much. This, These solid pieces, two tons, I think, or two... 2,000 kilograms? I don't know. Uh, and these are 1.8 or 8.5. So... But when you add it up across all of this, it does actually matter. Um, the walls themselves, even though they're carbon fiber, are also hollow. So, uh, there's color coding. You can see on the doors, which is the only part that's really visible from the outside. I am not sure if this is also a room, by the way. But door, door, see, and I am assigned to be bunk yellow, right? And every bunk room has four. Let me go to all the way to the end because one of these is fleshed out and has been is going to be rather a template perhaps I should put the colors on these as well it's just some of the colors don't actually register as glowing uh, and maybe I should adjust the color for this ship specifically I ought to do that all right but here's the bunk alpha there it capacity for eight uh, small entertainment center, small seat, and, you know, small, uh, small table. So they can sort of entertain themselves while off-duty to a degree. And presumably off-duty means half the room, half the room is on, or maybe it's in thirds, but eight doesn't divide into three very well. But regardless, um, maybe there are a couple of downshifts of eight hours, and then one major shift of eight hours. And I don't know, but 
They won't all be in the room at the same time, hence the kind of the lack of seating. The walls themselves, that one's white, that one looks yellow, but is in fact white, um, will reflect the, the color of the bunkhouse as well. And then here's your, ac your vent access to that main spinal air shaft, right? So, Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, uh, Epsilon, Zeta, Eta, Theta, I, O, uh, uh, Kappa, Lambda, Mu, or Mu is what I want to say, and possibly Nu, or Nu. Uh, why is Nu harder to say, harder to say than Mu? Oh, well. So, there you have it. Um, this sort of comes off a decision that has been made by me, uh, and that helicopter going by right now, that, uh, the seven crew member, or was it five? Maybe it's even five. Five or seven crew member list from the original game is are the officers. They are the department heads. And there's simply a complement of crew that go along with the ship who are under those department heads um, who are not mentioned because you don't need to hire them individually. They just sort of occur. So that is the decisions that have been made, which is explains why we have all this space and why I can devote so much of it to bunking. It's because, hey, these are these are the uh, the crew and not the officers. So then we take a, a turn. Here's a bit of a lounge for the engineers. Uh, you've seen this room before. I don't think much has changed. There's a couple of symbols, you know, red radiation and stuff like that. That's about all that's changed here. Um, there's this is the latch right here that latch Controls all the inner doors. So all these automatic doors anything I don't want to be automatic will be set to that master latch And it's up out of the way because more or less people aren't supposed to be playing with it Privacy is an issue on such a small ship. So you notice there's no way down on the other side that has been decided This has gone in um, and you'll see what happens on the inside as well. It's hard to see through right now. I wish there were textures or colors that you could apply to glass to make it more or less transparent, or even a texture that looks like, you know, UI elements superimposed over the glass. That would be cool. Uh, there's so many things I would ask them to do, but they can't do them all, and they wouldn't do half of them anyways. Um, so, yeah, we're still here. These guys need to be placed uh, on the inner latch. Interlash. That way people walking by don't expose everybody to the bathroom. Uh, this hasn't really changed. Still got the nice view. Ooh, look at that. That's a nice view. Let me uh, get a, a screenshot of that. Alright, so. This hasn't changed. This has somewhat, I think, but not much. Uh, no, maybe you've seen this before. There's some symbology now. This suggests you're going towards medical over here. This, for the lack of a better symbol, is where you go to rest. So, you know, peace, I guess. Uh, synergy, whatever. This hasn't changed. And this really hasn't. I still need to fill this space over here <clears throat> with something. Not a bad view either. Uh, let's see. P. Inner latch. P. Inner latch. This one can stay automatic. That's fine. Uh, maybe not, actually. P. Inner latch. Okay. Open the door deliberately. Close the door deliberately. Up or not. So here's a minor bunk room. This is... No one is assigned to this spot. And again, it has that sort of mirror view. You know, if you're hanging out here, you can look outside. But uh, this is just a temp bunk because this is a rest area. This is a place for people to take a break in the middle of a long shift of work. Oops. Inner latch. P, inner latch. Uh, so, you know, they're out here, they're working industry, or they're outside, they're working guard duty um, or exploration. They've just come in and 
they are going to go back out again in an hour or two and they just don't want to go through the whole business of having to get a medical checkup just to go to their regular bunk so they can go i'm gesturing with my hand they can go down there and just take a nap and not be bothered like you know the, the glass door allows people to see if it's occupied but uh it will keep out the sound from people having lunch and stuff like that and i think that's it that's the update for today. Thanks for watching. Come again next time or else.